Until he could make enough money to buy his own bar, he would get his drinks here because of Rahek. Nanook turned back around in time to see the door to Rahek's bar explode outward as a Yalin Tuff emerged at high speed to roll in the street. Nanook's eyes widened even further in surprise when another Tuff backpedaled out of the bar. His face was bleeding, and he was using his arms to try to protect himself from a small... human? On him. She perched on his shoulders, swiping her clawed hands at his eyes, then twisted down, her upper body sliding under his head to pull him off balance. She dropped to the ground as the bruiser tumbled into the street. Catch! Nanook saw a third run out of the bar as the young female reacted to a call. A large piece of wood flew out of the bar but missed the third yawlin. Bad aim, that. Nanook realized his mistake when she caught the wood and swung it at the unsuspecting thug, catching him on the shins. He went down as well. Then Rahek himself came out of the bar, walking like he was not in any pain, and she tossed the wood back to him. Rahek caught it, so he now had the complete pair again. Rahek wielded each with deadly efficiency. No, 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 don't do it! As he beat the ever-loving f**k out of the two remaining toughs. Finally, Rahek allowed their cries for mercy to stop him. <coughs> Nanook noticed the young human's claws and hands had returned to what he thought was normal for the race. The three thugs crawled together and helped each other up, then stumbled away down the street. The female looked up at the old barkeeper and smiled. Nanook shook his head when the two clapped hands in the old way, warrior to warrior. At that point, the two of them noticed him standing there with a look of surprise on his face. Hey, Nanook. You think you could find the money to fix up a bar? Nanook looked around and shrugged. Sure, why? Because no one should own it but you. Rahek looked down at the human. I've got a few years of adventure still left in me. The little human <laughs> laughed and started pulling on Rahek's arm to get him to follow her back into the bar. Mom, Dad, I closed the deal! Nanook followed the two as they entered to figure out what the hell he had just witnessed. And did he really own a bar now?